come to the second of these Advent prayer reflections. It's a wet morning in Bridlington and it can look quite bleak but just take a few steps and you see the light. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. In the beginning, Lord, I was alone, like the earth. Before your spirit moved over the waters, I was formless and empty, and darkness filled the depths of my heart. Then it was as if you declared, let there be light. And out of the darkness, I began to see hope. Like a shimmering ray of love. Breaking through the parting clouds. At the conclusion of the night, in the beginning Lord I was alone, but when I saw you in the light I was no longer afraid. You held out your hand. And though I had a choice, I had no choice, because to refuse was to embrace again the darkness. In the beginning, Lord, I was alone. Now I am again a part of your creation. Loved, wanted, needed family. In the light of your presence, I hold out my heart that others might glimpse through it your reflection. that we may be drawn from the darkness that I once embraced into the light of your sunrise, the brightness of your face. Lord Jesus, Son of God, Saviour of the world, be the centre of all that we are and the life that we lead. Lord Jesus, light in this dark world, illuminate our hearts and minds. Be the centre of all that we are and the life that we lead. A reading from John 1, verses 6 to 9. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. In the lonely places, the wilderness, where we stand forlorn, windswept and alone, your voice calls out, prepare a way for the Lord. In the dark places, the shadows, the tunnels where we hide our fears, embrace our tears, your voice calls out, prepare a way for the Lord. 
for the desert places in which we walk. The streets we roam, the paths we cross. Guide our feet, take us to places where you would go. Give us words that you would use, that in this Advent season of promise and preparation, we might point the way with John the Baptist to the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spring from on high and cheer us by thy drawing nigh. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come again and with us ever dwell. a walk on the beach. The other day I went with a man who we've got to know through church and the kitchen. He's the kind of man that when you're with him things happen and then um, as I was walking along um, just looking down at the rocks on Barmson Beach I found loads and loads of fossils. It was just great. There's all sorts of treasures to be found on the beach. going to move into a time of prayer as we look to discover the light of Christ in our lives this Advent and in the lives of those around us. Oh, no problem. <laughs> no, it's alright. Hello, hello. What a nice one in here. <laughs> Circle us, Lord, with the light of your presence. Circle us with the light of your presence bright within this dark world. Enable us to be overcomers of fear and temptation. Enable us to be victors over sin and despair. Enable us to become that which you would desire. Lord of creation, Lord of salvation. Circle us with the light of your presence. Circle us, Lord. Circle our family within the shelter of your outstretched arms. Protect them in each moment of their daily lives. Protect them in the decisions they face. Protect their homes and relations. Lord of creation, Lord of salvation. 
circle our families with the light of your presence. Circle us, Lord, circle this nation with Advent love and hope. Create a desire to listen to the Advent message. Create a willingness to understand and respond. Create a need to reach out to the Christ Lord. Lord of creation. Lord of salvation. Circle our nation with the light of your presence. Circle us, Lord. Circle this world with the joy of your salvation. Where there is hunger and sickness, bring healing. Where there is disease and despair, bring hope. Where there is torture and oppression, bring release. Lord of creation, Lord of salvation, circle this world with the light of your presence. Lord, thou hast given us thy word for a light to shine upon our path. Grant us so to meditate on that word and to follow its teaching, that we may find in it the light that shines more and more until the perfect day. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he protect you through the wilderness, guide you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he will show you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And Amen.